I once slapped a grandma's newspaper so hard right out of her frail hands and she was beyond shocked. Frankly, so was I, because it was an accident. I'm not some evil dude. I was riding the bus in grade eight to get to high school like I always do. But these drivers, they never wait until you sit down before they start accelerating like they're Eggman trying to hunt Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm stabilizing from bar to bar and then suddenly I tripped. What happened next will shock you. And my hand just hit the newspaper out of this poor old grandma's hands so hard it felt like I was Deku doing a Detroit smash one for all. So I fell down on the bus, I was shocked, and then I realized what happened and I got right back up and proceeded to profusely apologize to this lady like 10 times in a row. I was even doing these like Japanese bowing gestures. I felt so bad I almost cried, man. The absolute look of betrayal and bewilderment on her face I would never forget. She was a white lady and she must have thought, oh wow, I should have treated those Asian Canadian Pacific Railroad workers better when I was younger because now it's finally caught up to me. But when she realized it was an accident, she smiled and she forgave me. I was a free man once again. That horrific core memory lives on with me like it happened just yesterday and I would still relive all of it again and again if it meant that this next video never happens. This rich mother There it is. I'm immediately sweaty just from looking at that. That's the second time I've gone through that. The first time in private, the second time for all of you. This is what I do. Are you impressed? I look at horrific things on the internet and I share them with you so that you have to look at it with me. I did not see any salt. Let's just start from there. Those are saltwater fish, clownfish if you're not familiar. I'm not a saltwater reefer guy, but even I know Nemo. So immediately they're dying. As soon as, I mean, yeah, okay, we're all dying, sure. You're so edgy. But as soon as these guys are introduced, they're just suffering. Imagine being put on Mars without a suit. Probably not as bad as that, but you get the point. I have a gut feeling that none of these fish are still alive. I hope I'm wrong. Probably not, as I explained in my other comment. Clownfish are aggressive if they don't think they have enough to go around and will probably kill each other. They've basically done the saltwater equivalent of throwing a few bettas into a three gallon tank without barriers. I feel like the equivalent of that is actually throwing three bettas into saltwater. Both of you to assume they didn't just dump them in fresh water and kill them long before the ammonia poisoning will. Yeah, it's like this person's trying to get to a type three civilization when in fact they're stuck in like negative one type civilization. They're not even amoeba at this point. Did they even add salt? To be fair, I didn't see any table salt either. Yeah, they added salt. The clownfish would have died before they had the chance to film the different shots of the tank if they didn't add salt. You'd be surprised how long a fish can survive a freshwater dip. Okay, now I'm... <laughs> Which one is the truth? YouTube, tell me. Fish for thoughters. Let's use our thoughts and put them in the comments. I saw some other just absolute brain dead comments saying how these fish are CGI. Yeah. Bros have never seen how a clownfish swims. That is how a real clownfish swims. Saltwater fish are freaking amazing. They're so amazing you think they're AI generated, but unfortunately those are real clownfish. I was just thinking, this whole thing enrages me so much, but the fact that like there's no clownfish in Spongebob. Fish. Tank. View. We got a submission from K2 Tari. Eight gallons with an apple snail, some shrimp, a short fin betta coming in soon. And that is one lucky short fin betta. Yo, pictures are playing tricks on my mind, man. If you asked me and you didn't tell me how many gallons this was, I would have guessed like three gallons, maybe 2.5. Because there's like similarly looking tanks like this for that amount of water. But this is an eight gallon. It's a perfect size for a betta fish. You could go higher, go a little lower, but man, perfect size. Look at the hydrocotyl. In the words of the wise saint, DJ Khaled, bring out the whole fish tank. God did. I just have to note that that was complete sarcasm. I don't think highly of DJ Khaled. I can't believe I have to say that. Is it me or does that piece of wood look like Master Wugwe? 4.75 out of 5. Keep up the great work. Quick pause guys. It just feels so good to be sponsored by something you love. Usually it's you guys, but today it's the Ridge. This is my Damascus wallet that they sent me. I recently switched over from my other Ridge wallet to this one. It's just too tempting not to. Look at this thing. That's crazy. First of all, ridge.com slash FFT. Use code FFT for 10% off right now. Right off the bat. You don't even have to be subscribed to this channel, but it would be nice if you were. Having been sponsored by this company and collaborating with them, they really showed me that there are fantastic human beings behind their product. And they are really proud of it. Their innovation knows no bounds. Look, they recently just popped off with new leather Ridge wallets. Now they've done it. This is their tobacco brown. This is their midnight black. And yes, do you even have to ask? 
They feel good. Very freaking good. They spent 18 months in the lab developing and testing this thing. You know they are not messing around. Look at the stitching. When you buy a wallet from the Ridge, it comes with a 99 day risk free trial. It has a lifetime warranty. It holds up to 12 cards and it can hold cash. It can even hold your coins and your keys. Again, that's ridge.com slash FFT. Use code FFT to get 10% off right now. Gotta give it to the Snapchat AI and it knows its stuff. What's a good size tank for a betta fish? It's at least five gallons, enough space to swim and explore. And it will also make it easier to maintain good water quality. If you can, a 10 gallon tank is even better. <laughs> Very nice. I don't even can read that. I don't know what happened with a screenshot, but I read it for you. That's right, because I love you. You don't have to say it back today. Flower line today <laughs> sent in this 150 gallon tank. Just hold up. My reference of sizes when it comes to cameras is so crap or are those corridors huge are those attack on titan corridors how is this 150 gallons do you mean 150 liters because ain't no way right these are gigantic fish for 150 gallons someone tell me what up with this someone timestamp this and tell me if i'm right or wrong please if this is truly 150 gallons my reference of all fish sizes and stuff is like messed the hell up right now let me just check 150 liters real quick Ah, 40 gallons. That is much more believable. So I'm pretty sure the typo is there. Nevertheless, regardless what size it is, it's a beautiful tank. I love the hardscape. Damn, you found a nice piece of wood and you took advantage of that. Planting some moss, planting some bryophytic plants. In the background, trying to do a ballast area. Even if it doesn't work out for you, because sometimes ballast melt so hard they never come back. You still got a pretty nice and decent clean backdrop. 4.42 out of 5. Keep it up. Chris, these ratings are getting mighty specific. That's right. I'm a specific kind of dude. A friend just sent me this. I'm at a loss for words. He ain't your friend anymore, bro. Who's out here sending pictures like this with your dead fish? Your friend knows that you're a fish hobbyist and wants to show off their fish to you, oh, no. but they don't know that. That's not how you keep fish. I can relate. People be sending me their fish tank pics and I'm, I'm like, please don't do that. I still want to be your friend, my G. You might as well empty that candle out so you can put some fish in there, you freaking dirty poo. That is one lucky turtle. Can't even make up its mind, but it's one unlucky fish. Like you don't get more unlucky than this. Rest in peace. There's just one tiger barb in there. They smart. See how that tiger barb is far away from the mouth of the turtle. They don't mess around. They don't play with their lives. We got some uh, active blackberries. They're very swimmy blackberries. That's crazy. Those wens are very overgrown. A lot of people don't like it because the fish effectively cannot see. This is like the English bulldog of the fish world taste the rainbow. That's impressive. That, that's a big tank, right? Is it overstocked? I'm not too sure. There's ample filtration. There's a lot of room for them. They feel comfortable because there's just a bunch of them. And their genetics are good because the way glowfish have been made, they're genetically modified with cnidarian DNA, jellyfish sea anemone DNA. So apparently they're very resilient to disease and they age very well. Other than the fact that it kind of mimics barf gravel and I would never want to get any of these because they look so artificial, I don't have a problem with it. What do you guys think? Is this too overstocked? There's no live plants but it seems like there's good husbandry little update on rapashi she lost her tail i kind of like this little stubby butt at the same time that i lost my collarbone not lost it but destroyed it into two pieces or three pieces and she actually lost her tail super late she's about five or six years old and she just lost her tail that's pretty late for gecko years i believe and it was nothing special i was cleaning the enclosure and she got spooked and that was the end of that the tail wiggled for like 30 minutes afterwards i was super spooked by that scared the crap out of me actually i can't believe i've had rapashi for five to six years now i gotta do the math on that but wow you're getting to be a little old there fella it's been a great half a decade with you buddy even though you've done literally Really nothing but exist. <laughs> what a perfect host. 70th best host of FTR, ladies and gentlemen. Rap Dasho herself. What do you have to say for yourself, Rap Dasho? What? That's just not true, my G. Okay, you don't get the mic. Nope, you've lost your speaking privileges. One more big jump. Let's go. Nice. Twin LED lights up top. I don't usually show her enclosure because it's always so messy. Giant pothos coming up. I put a lot of the floaters in here so they could just dry up and become leaf litter and break down into nutrients for the springtails and for the isopods in here. I got rid of a lot of my growth bins, but this is the last one I have. Remember I took a lot of crypts out of this recently. There's only three little things left. Growing back really well though. I have high hopes. These two actually just broke off when I was taking the others out and I decided to leave them. They were actually just 
two little pieces of root but i'm so glad i left them because they're growing into their own plant and they're gonna propagate for me too put in some flame moss i have some java moss i have some cameroon moss which is really cool and i have some swasser tang i'm just taking a chance oh yeah there's some pearl weed back in the corner there found at a nail salon near my house barely any room for these guys to move and almost all are covered in abrasions and lesions ah uh, we got the fluval filter down the bottom preposterous giving fluval a bad name here bro fluval ain't got nothing to do with these decisions Decisions. It's the covered in abrasions and legions that does it for me. Why do you need it's a nail salon creating much more work for yourself And you're making animals feel bad, bro They gotta live their whole lives in there You could save so much time from badly managing and trying to upkeep this fish tank into customer service and satisfaction business school I suggest it just for you dynamic alpha 48 the terracotta. It's such a nice touch You got to get a pleco bro. Gotta get a bristle nose up in here unless it's not big enough Maybe it's not looks like a fluval edge six gallon. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Maybe some motor Sinkless, maybe pygmy quarries. When that carpet gets going, whoo wee. Four out of five, keep it up. It's all this at a pet smart of all places. Survive doesn't equal thrive. Yo, they should put like a cross for the fish tank photo, fish tank graphic right there as well. Cause that's kind of confusing. Like, is that a good example or no? They should also just turn that into a betta fish. It doesn't have to be a goldfish. Goldfish are even worse, but putting a betta fish in a small bowl like that with nothing and some colorful gravel, that's really bad already. Ace and Fair sent in this cute little portrait photo of their betta fish in a planted, nicely planted tank with a betta log. Just a macro photo that says a lot about good husbandry. The name of their betta fish is Starscream. That's kick-ass, bro. Five out of five named. This tank sent in by Zoth. It's a good start for a betta fish tank. I think the husbandry is there. Got live plants. They look a little bit like they're struggling. Root tabs or dirt the thing. Or switch to aqua soil. I like the hardscape, actually. It's like a stump. It's a good start. For now, a 3.65 out of five. Keep up the great work. Local golfing range. Again, why do you... This is okay. It's about 50 to 60 gallons. The biggest pleco I've personally ever seen. If it's like 50 to 60 gallons, I think it's still kind of bad, but not nowhere near as bad as we've seen it on this channel. And that is one of the biggest plecos I've ever seen as well. Thick. Must be eating good. Decently taken care of to be able to thrive like that. It's an accomplishment to have a pleco grow that big. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. Wow, this emerald dwarf aspora is going through its emo Korean drama phase. Watch too many K-drama. It's in a music video right now. Do not disturb. Funny that they all belong to the same order. Hated aquarium fish annual meeting. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Wait, is that a flying fox? The only reason people hate flying foxes is because it looks like Siamese algae eater. Is there hate on tiger barbs? I guess a little bit. I, I personally, out of this whole list, only hate the Chinese algae eater, all right? You being a little uh, species is right here. They're all from the same order. What is that supposed to mean, bro? Take it back. Touch of serenity sent in this photo. Heartbroken. Candy, female, has torn off Snow's tail. I kept them closed but separately for more than a week. Everything was looking good, then why? Am I seeing this right? Is that supposed to be- One of them is supposed to be female, but I don't think either of them are female. They both look extremely male to me. I mean, I guess it says aquariums for beginners, but quick Google search. Genuinely do not understand how people think this is okay. Wow. When NPCs tried their hardest to, to not be an NPC, they didn't want to follow the quota. Not just goldfish for this guy. I'm going for a weather loach. Not like the other fish keeper. I'm quirky. Hey little man, how's it going? I'm dying to death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're happy. You're a, Look how happy my bed of fish is. It lived a whole week in my new fish bowl and it was a happy fish. 90% of all betta fish or fish owners. If you don't do this, congratulations. You're part of the 10%. Welcome back to the end of the video. I hope your money's starting off just right. Have a lovely day after this video ends. Do some fish tank maintenance. Enjoy the outdoors. Touch some grass, my fellow hermits. Before I let you guys go, God, what? that was my real voice, not edited. Question of the week is, what is your favorite fast food joint? I'm hungry. I want to know where I'm eating today. Give me some suggestions as well, man. Specific item order as well. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a video of it on my food channel. All right, that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. Where my shoal at, cure my fin rot from caraciformes to parenteral on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.